Hey, what's going on everybody? Brandon Charleston here, coming at you with yet another quick tutorial. So this particular use case may be a little different for most as uh, you usually in AI automation, you're doing new business development, uh, you know, sourcing opportunities and things like that. This definitely falls in that realm, uh, but if you may or may not know, there's actually a customer who's been around longer than you and I have and buys everything from bullets to baby bottles every single day. Do you know who that customer is? It's the government. And if you're in the United States, it's the US government. So that is a whole different topic, which I can dive into a little bit later if you guys are interested. But somebody who has also served in the Air Force for over 20 years now, still going strong, hopefully retire soon. Uh, I definitely know a thing or two when it comes to government contracting. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a workflow on how to source government opportunities from a public website where everything is public. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to scrape it very quickly. And then what you'll need to do, obviously, is look through opportunities that fit your profile. So if you're running a business and you're offering some sort of product or service, obviously, you're going to want to look through those opportunities that apply to you. And then from there, um, if you are a vendor or if you're looking for a way to find a vendor or a subcontractor, I'm going to show you how to use a platform called Clay in order to find businesses. And then you can automate that in and send uh, personalized outreach at scale. So with that said, let's dive in. So from here, um, we are going to go to sam.gov. And if you're not familiar with sam.gov, this is essentially the US government. All agencies involved at the federal level, uh, we're talking the IRS, the uh, you know government or the uh, forestry service. I mean, there are just a ton of government agencies that post opportunities and solicitations as they would call it in order to find business. And so, as I mentioned before, I mean, there are opportunities posted every single day. And the thing is, is a lot of companies don't even realize that this thing exists, let alone get registered and everything. And so, if you guys want more content on how to do business with the government, feel free to reach out or leave a comment below and I can uh, make a video on that as well. So, with that said, uh, you don't even need to log in. This is all public information. Uh, but what you can do is just go to sam.gov, go to search, and then from here, you're gonna um, populate the fields here. So you're just gonna hit the plus. And then we're gonna look for contract opportunities. And then from here, we are going to uh, look for dates. And the thing about the dates is we want to, I usually like to uh, screen out for opportunities that are gonna be due, say in the next month or so. That way I have a little bit of lead time to do some research and uh, you know seek out subcontractors or vendors uh, or really put together a proposal that's gonna allow me some time to actually vet it out, right? So what you wanna do is I usually like to just go to the next month, uh, usually is enough time. And then you can see right here, there's already 9,400. Uh, you know opportunities here now the thing with this is you're going to want to look at the notice type and so if it is a solicitation that means it's live and they're looking to buy right now if it is a sources sought that just means they're looking to see who's interested in such opportunity and so with that we're going to want to go to notice type and then you're going to filter down. And so what I like to do is just go to solicitation. And then I also like to add combined synopsis solicitation. So with these filters, you can see that these are contract opportunities that are due in the next month that will be a solicitation or combined synopsis solicitation. And obviously we want to make sure it's active as well. So with that, you can see there's already 6,100, a little over 6,100 already. Now you're gonna see a lot of things in here that is very confusing. I mean, a lot of times these are services, a lot of time, a lot of them are products. They could be aircraft products, they could be bullets, they could be baby bottles, it could be food. Uh, I mean, if you just look through this manually, you're gonna see, this could be office space for recruiting. Um, you're gonna see a lot of things in here that you probably are not aware of uh, or even have a clue. And frankly, there's a lot of people in the government contracting space where they may not be 100%, but you know, just like in any agency scenario, you figure it out and you find the products. If you've ever seen the movie War Dogs, 
this is exactly the scenario right here. So, uh, in, except back then it used to be called Fed Biz Ops or FBO, whereas this is the new website, Sam.gov. So if you haven't watched the movie War Dogs, this is exactly what I'm talking about. But this video, call it War Dogs with AI automation at scale. So, uh, so with that, what we're gonna do is, it, just for the sake of time, I'm going to get rid of one of these filters, which is the combine. And you can see we're already at 2800, which is a good amount to choose from. And this is daily, by the way. So you could either do this daily or perhaps we can go a little further and we can even automate this or set up filters so that way we can get this into a list. So from here, I'm gonna use Instant Data Scraper. So it's just a Chrome plugin that most of you might be aware of if you don't have it. I believe it's free, just plug it in, you know, add it to your Chrome. And you can see it pops up right here. So I've already scraped before so what you want to do is populate the columns and the names that you want to and you can see just from mine right here that there's the opportunity name opportunity link the notice id the description basically basically what's posted right here this is the agency so this is what i'm talking about most of it obviously would be department of defense some of it will be the va <clears throat> some of it will be uh, department of agriculture i mean any federal agency is going to be on sam.gov and then there's also you know state um, city level so those are going to be a lot of different sites usually more local to the jurisdiction there so so with that i'm just going to it's it's already pre-populated so you can see in the yellow highlight right here because i've done it before we are just going and it already knows the next button so we're just going to start crawling so we're just going to let this go and uh, I'm gonna let this scrape and pause the video for now and then once it's done, we will uh, come back. All right, and we're back. So after uh, you know 371 seconds, uh, whatever that equates to, just a few minutes, let's just call that for today. Uh, but uh, literally this automatically scraped 114 pages and 2187 rows, uh, all automatically. So this populates just the first thousand. So from here, we can download CSV, uh, you know, Excel spreadsheet or either one. I'm gonna go ahead and download the CSV. And then from there, we can see that this pre-populated with all of our opportunities and the things that I wanted. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about this. Clearly, um, you know, there's always manual. However, uh, depending on your uh, scenario or your product or service, you, uh, you're gonna want to find what uh, opportunities are relevant to you. So as I mentioned before, there's gonna be a lot of parts in here that uh, you know, if you sell aircraft parts, well, this applies to you. So, or if you can source it, right? Again, back to that war dog example. Um, so what you could do is go through here, you know, and see what opportunities uh, would be relevant. And then I would recommend uh, copying it or highlighting it and then extracting that to a new spreadsheet so you can, you know, shortlist any sort of opportunities you want. But then from here, you can see this is the opportunity link. And if we quickly copy that and then go to the actual link, all we gotta do is punch that in. And you can see here that this is going to be the notice ID, this is the information about it, this is the contract type, classification, uh, there's what you call a PSC code or a NAICS code, which really is just a code for like your industry and the government term. And so place performance for here is New Orleans, could be New Orleans, however you pronounce it. Um, I'm from the West Coast, but we call it New Orleans. So anyway, uh, this is the description. So you can see sometimes this is, um, and this I do want to point this out. Sometimes not all contract administrators actually put the description in the description uh, because that's just the way it is in the government. So most of the information, if you are looking for an opportunity, is actually going to be in the attachment links, and they're usually in the you know, solicitation or the notice, um, you know, things like that. These are obviously amendments. So in terms of scraping and going down as far as you can to seek the opportunity, you are going to get a little bit of information sometimes at the description level based on this particular website. And the reason I bring that up is because 
you um, you can import this into a platform called Clay, and uh, you know we can easily scrape these websites, and it'll populate all the information. So that way, you can really analyze um, information, use AI to really you know help you, I guess, uh, shortlist even further uh, to really streamline your operations, depending on how fast you want to scale, right? And so um, there's a couple ways we could do that, but that's a whole other video. So I would just say <clears throat> there is a platform called Clay, which I post a lot about. Um, you know, basically it's a uh, super um, Excel spreadsheet, and uh, you can do all, all sorts of data aggregators and, and integrations with it. And so all you're going to do is you're just going to hit New Table, and then we're going to import. Uh, well, actually, we're just going to do a custom CSV in this case. So we're going to do a custom table. We're going to import. Actually, why did I do that? I went to the wrong step here. So we're gonna go, well that's one way you can do it, but really what it comes down to, it doesn't matter, it could be import companies or import people from CSV. We're just gonna import from a CSV and I'm going to select this CSV. And first row does contain column names, so we're gonna do that and we're just gonna hit new blank table and we're, go we're going to import it. So this is just a step to take your workflow a little bit further so that way you can use formulas, uh, AI, you know, all sorts of things for that. And so just for an example, I'm gonna show you here. So we have the opportunity link. And so we're just gonna go add integration and we're, we can do two things. We can do Clagent, which is an AI agent that will essentially go to the website and look for information for you using AI, or we can just scrape website. Um, so we're going to just use Scrape Website, and we're going to use the op link as the source for that. And then we're going to continue to add fields, and we're just going to do the first 10 just for sampling purposes. And we're going to see what comes up. And so from here, it's going to basically pull the website data into everything here. And you can see there's the links. Well, oh, I didn't do anything there. Social links. All right, well, this example was terrible. So um, maybe it was that one. Let's see here. Nope, that was also terrible. So it's all about the experimentation, right? So normally I shortlist it manually uh, because there's only a short amount of criteria, you know, for, for actually doing that. So in this case, you may want to uh, do Clagent, which could, let's see here, visit. And we're going to do up link and and we are going to see what this comes up with. The other one, which may be in uh, out of the scope of this particular video, I cover it in my other videos, but is using another AI model called Cohere, which is a very uh, great large language model that I use very often, uh, probably the most often to be honest. And what it does is you can ground it uh, to visit a particular website. So it's really kind of a clagent in this scenario. And so sometimes it's not able to, well, this is actually another terrible example. So uh, anyway, that you know, you win some, you lose some, right? So what I would say is, you know, I'd probably do Cohere, but that's again out of the scope of this. So the uh, the big thing here is really shortlisting what you're looking for, uh, for whatever uh, service or product that you can essentially get after. Again, similar to that war dog scenario, or if you are, uh, if any one of these opportunities stick out to you. So for example, uh, there's a lot of times where it could be rental of, uh, Sandy huts or uh, outhouses, you know, the you know, I'm military, the shaders that are out there, right? Uh, you know, uh, renting that kind of thing. And so, um, there's also let's go here. I mean, there's janitorial service, there's I mean, there's there's services that are very practical. There's even lead generation, believe it or not. Uh, there's digital marketing, there is recruiting, there is um, just literally everything the government buys literally baby uh, baby bottles and bullets every single day anything in between and so i definitely encourage you if you haven't already scoped it out uh to seek that because the government buys a lot of things and they want you you know to be involved with that because they're always pushing on how they you know want to spend government dollars right and so this is a good opportunity for you now here's the 2.0 to this 
once you do short list, you know, and if you are looking for a subcontractor or a vendor uh, to help you, you know, team up essentially uh, to put together a proposal in order to submit it to the contract administrator, whoever is in charge of that, and that is right. If you go down, let's see here. The contract administrator usually is right here, right? So this code is Catherine and Bianca. So you would just, you know, there's going to be instructions for solicitors on how to submit a proposal. So that is definitely out of the scope of this video, uh, but it's really not that hard, especially if you're using AI. And so from here, what you're going to do is go into Clay. Let's just say, for example, I, there is an opportunity that um, it's for pool cleaning service. Uh, I happen to own a pool cleaning service business with my wife, and so I'm just gonna create new, but let's just say for S and G's, which is shits and giggles by the way, uh, that we are gonna find local businesses using Google Maps, right? So let's just say I'm looking for um, pool cleaning service in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So Let's see here, and then we're gonna do Scottsdale, Arizona. Perfect. We're gonna expand our reach just to really get some good coverage here. So let's just say on Sam.gov, I saw an opportunity that closes in a month for um, for pool cleaning service, and it's in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm just gonna, it's just no different than you going to Google Maps and pulling data from there. And so we're going to find companies, and it's going to populate that all the way in here and put it into a spreadsheet very quickly for us, right? So from here, it has populated, well, it's getting up there. Looks like there's a lot of pool cleaning services in uh, Scottsdale which is really good. That means you have options, right? So what you could do from here is obviously you can uh, score it. Um, you know, I would say score in a way where you can go through ratings um, and if it's, you know, which is another video as well. In fact, Eric Noslavsky posts a great video on how to score appropriately um, through a different criteria. Essentially what scoring means is I'm taking a certain criteria and setting an amount of points in, in order to score you, what you were looking for. So you can really understand and quickly rank uh, who, who your best uh, priority you know, prospects are, right? Let's say for example, if number of reviews is, you know, if I do a number of reviews is between 50 to 120, let's say they got the top. And if they have, you know, uh, 10 or less, they're really low scoring, right? So that's just an example. So I definitely encourage you to check out his channel and definitely has all the great tutorials on that. But here we are. So there's definitely more uh, examples here, but 138, you know, and so what I will do is I can uh, take this a number of ways uh, through my workflow. Uh, number one, you could cold call, you know, that's always an option. Uh, or what I could do is I can use Clagent, which is an AI agent again, uh, and essentially visit their website to look for any sort of contact information, such as their email address. And then I could take it further from there if I want to involve, you know, like Facebook, for example, some of these companies uh, probably either have a Yelp, um, they may have um, you know, Facebook page, they may have their email address listed right on their, um, their Google profile, which looks like some of these don't. And so I may have to dig deeper. But um, essentially the first step what I would do in order to do it at scale is uh, send them an email, you know? And then the language you usually would wanna do is no different than any cold email scenario of, hey, you know, I saw, I came across your, your business on Google and wanted to see if you offer these services. You know, I have an opportunity uh, where I'd like to partner with you on this particular uh, opportunity, you know, and let them know it's government because it's all public anyway. And if they're registered, you know, you can definitely uh, kind of see where that goes. But uh, anyway, this goes well beyond the scope of this uh, video. And so what I'd like to do is, well, actually, um, this wraps it up. And so from here, I don't want, the, oh my goodness, this video is almost 20 minutes long. Well, if you're watching it this far, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, but with that said, uh, definitely if you have any questions, uh, reach out. So thanks for watching.